back teeth are to be replaced after having been missing for a longer period, implants will not find the adequate bony support they need from the maxillary sinus floor. For a successful implantation, considerably more bone is required. To build up this missing bone, first a lateral opening to access the maxillary sinus is required. Then the tender inner skin of the maxillary sinus, the so-called Schneiderian membrane, is detached from the bone. It may be necessary to insert a proven protective membrane, such as Geistlich BioGuide. The Geistlich BioGuide, with its natural structure, supports wound healing and promotes undisturbed bone regeneration. It is broken down naturally by the body after a few weeks. The sinus floor is then elevated with a proven bone substitute material, such as Geistlich BioOS. The lateral opening is covered with another protective Geistlich BioGuide membrane. Finally, one or several implants are inserted. The natural structure of Geistlich BioOS serves as a scaffold for new bone formation. It's intermingled with new bone after four to six months and is then included in the natural remodeling process of the bone. The implant is now anchored in the body's own bone, just like a natural dental root. This ensures a solid fixation over time. Due to the sinus floor elevation, the implants and crowns fulfill the function of strongly anchored artificial teeth with natural appearance. <laughs>